hello guys welcome back to solution tips uh, today's video will be about uh, the next coming update of Windows 10 uh, it will be nearly released in uh, either uh, ending of this month that is April or in the beginning or in the month of May so uh, in this uh, Windows operating system uh, you will see different uh, new features uh, one of them is a uh, uh, Windows sandbox and for that you will require these uh, requirements first of all check them if you m match these requirements you can proceed further otherwise uh, don't go further and uh, once uh, you check out uh, every single requirement uh, what you have to do is to go to the search bar in y in this uh, windows uh, remember one thing uh, before we proceed that uh, this only works in the next coming update as I'm using an insider preview so I can use it you can also check the insider preview in the last of this video you will see how to enable insider previews and uh, install them now you have to open this uh, little pop-up and type uh, in the search windows features or whatever it is turn on of windows features now scroll down and you will see windows sandbox over here just uh, check it out checkbox and uh, then click on OK wait a few seconds until this uh, completes apply changes one more thing uh, before we proceed uh, and uh, before you can see it shows uh, we have to restart our PC before we proceed to restart you have to do one thing just uh, check uh, if hardware virtualization is enabled you can check so by using the task manager you can see over here in the uh, performance tab and uh, CPU you will see uh, I have already enabled it uh, if you have not enabled it you can just go to uh, Google and search for the method it is uh, in BIOS and uh, after that just restart your PC okay once you are back in your PC what you have to do is uh, go to the start and uh, search Windows sandbox and uh, an application will pop up Okay, and uh, accept the administrative privileges here. Then wait uh, a few seconds until this application loads up. What you can do with the uh, Windows Sandbox is uh, you can install any of the applications from Windows operating system and uh, use it uh, for whatever purpose uh, it is uh, made. And uh, after that, when you close the Sandbox, everything uh, uh, what you have created inside it will be erased and permanently lost. So before you exit the virtual box, if there is any important data, you can just uh, copy it out as usual. Now you can see uh, another window. Uh, I mean another windows inside a windows this is the real host and this is a virtual box you can just adjust to the size as according what you like okay once you drag and draw drag it and uh, it release it you will see it automatically adjusts to the size so now uh, to copy any file what you have to do is to uh, let me first open explorer inside it okay it's up now to install any application inside it uh, let me go to the PC that is the original host uh, and uh, copy some application you can see wait a few seconds okay let me try this iPad in you can choose any of the applications copy it as usual and then go to the virtual box sandbox and uh, paste it as usual and then install uh, this application as you would on your normal PC so you wait for the installation to finish and if you are crazy like me you can just uh, go to settings and uh, enable the insider program and uh, install the latest uh, insider preview and check out the new features that are coming in the next update so as our application is uh, installed I can open it good so far so good as you can see the application uh, that I have installed uh, inside the Windows Sandbox work was fine 
there are lots of more features uh, in the next coming update um, like one of them was this uh, sandbox Windows sandbox and once you are done to doing every work you can just uh, close it and uh, before uh, closing you will see it uh, asks us that everything uh, will be deleted and permanently lost so you need to copy it back to the system and then click on OK to close it Okay. now let me open it again to show you that everything was lost so as you can see bringing up nothing is uh, up in the screen and also we can check the downloads folder it is also empty the file we copied is not here that means uh, before we close it uh, we have to take every single data which is important for us uh, out of uh, it and uh, paste it in the real host and uh, I was asking about uh, how to enable the win windows inside the program you have to go to settings okay settings now uh, either search in the search box windows insider or you can just go directly to update and security section okay as i am already in insider program you will see here mm, something different to be inside our program and uh, you can download it uh, either directly from the Google but uh, you should be signed up for inside the program thank you guys for watching this video if you find this helpful please like it and subscribe to channel solution tips for more videos like this